Thank you so much for being here and watching today's video. It's been a hot minute since I've been on my YouTube channel, but I'm back. I have been away doing secret project things, which is so annoying to say because I want to just be able to tell you guys now what I'm doing behind the scenes, but I've been pretty focused on that and I actually haven't been home. So I haven't actually been able to film bits and bobs here in my little space. So I'm officially back and it's just, I think it's the first day of spring today. That I'm filming this which I think it actually is it's the 20th of March that I'm filming this but yeah it just feels amazing outside the weather very excited for spring and just lifting my mood so much this weather this sunshine and I really hope wherever you are you're getting some beautiful sunshine you're able to enjoy it as well and I hope you guys are doing well hopefully at the end of April I'll be able to share more on like secret project stuff with you guys but for today's video anyway rather than me just talking about something that I actually can't tell you guys about I am sharing some of my favorite trench coat style looks moving into spring so one of these trench coats I've had for I want to say three four years now and then River Island recently just relaunched it which I was so happy about because it is by far one of the best quality like premium beige trench coats that I have found in a very very long time and yeah they brought it back out so I was very happy about that so I've styled that five ways and then I recently purchased more of a cream toned like white coloured trench coat from H&M which I'm also absolutely loving if you follow me over on like TikTok or Instagram you will see me styling it a lot because I'm almost wearing it every day right now it's just so easy to kind of chuck on and layer so without further ado let's get straight in to outfit number one and styling the beige trench five ways so for look number one I wanted to just share like a classic way that I style it white tee blue jeans chunky trainers really simple easy way of just layering up with that light layer for spring days for everyday wear being super comfortable I feel like all of us have like white tops and blue jeans in our wardrobe, hopefully. <laughs> but if you don't, I feel like it's those core pieces for like everyday wear in the spring months, even moving into summer, especially in the UK, you kind of do get those colder days. And I feel like at the moment, the weather's, I mean, it's literally about to be 18 degrees next week, which is madness but I feel like if you need that extra layer trench coats are great because you can literally chuck on a little knit to layer up with or have one on your shoulders it's always a really like cute way of kind of carrying one around with you but this is just like one of my go-to ways because I feel like the trench coat just goes with absolutely everything so you don't really need to go with like a cohesive color rule palette all the time because of this beige color I feel like it's quite easy to style around pops of color or more neutrals in your wardrobe so I tend to do like blue and whites and then if I wanted to add a pop of color to this I might potentially add like a pop of color knit under the trench as well and just stick with more of those lighter shades moving into the spring months but next up the dress I'm actually currently in this is really really old but I'm gonna try and find similars for this I basically don't really want to <laughs> like have to buy loads of new things like an orange dress or something for videos so I'm gonna find similar for you guys but I'm sorry if there's lots of little bits where I'm like oh like they're similar down below and not the exacts but I've just had this dress for years and it's absolutely one of my favorites to kind of wear pops of color in the spring months but I love styling bright dresses with just like really casual trainers and trench coats I feel like this is just a great everyday way of like bringing an outfit to life with your favorite colors in your wardrobe so whatever the dress color is that you've got or even if it's like a cute little top and short combo just adding those like bright colors and styling them around the beige trench and just like neutral colored trainers is always a really nice way to like brighten up our spring wardrobes then for layering this is one of my absolute go-to ways of layering trench coats I always layer up with like a tee a blazer trench coat and then perhaps some linen trousers or some straight leg trousers or jeans whatever you've got I just find this like layering way with the blazer or even with like a little jacket that you've got in the same kind of shape and style that's quite lightweight is a really nice way to kind of layer up a trench and one of the ways that I also love kind of embedding more color into my wardrobe is by doing this with like pops of color blazers I tend to have lots of like orange greens and pinks in my wardrobe because I find for me personally they work like multiple different ways of pieces in my wardrobe but I feel like ways like this like doing a full neutral outfit and then having that little bit of subtle color is a really nice way again to like bring those outfits to life and just dressing in color is underrated it just makes me feel so good especially when the sun is shining so really recommend like 
going for your favorite color in a like one piece, whether it's like a knit or a little colored tee or a colored blazer, whatever you feel like you get the most use out of, just having that core colored piece in your wardrobe that you can style multiple ways is just that great way of just having that full pop of color of an outfit, making it stand out a little bit more. And then I just style around neutrals just to kind of make that the focus point of an outfit. Sorry if you guys can hear that baby seagull, just interrupting. <laughs> I think it might be Rocky on the roof. If you don't follow me on Instagram, Rocky is kind of pet seagull. We don't feed him, but he comes and just drops rocks every day on our roof, which is lovely. He gives us little presents. So I think that might be him that you can hear, if you can hear him. So sorry about that. <laughs> it's just bright in life. But for the next outfit, I just wanted to style again the neutral look, but share how you can get that classic knit that you have in your wardrobe, whatever the color, if it's stripes or not, just layering up over your shoulders and having it as that piece that you can put on if you end up going, I don't know, down to the beach and it's windy and it's cold, but it also creates a really chic outfit and it really kind of adds to that layering aspect. Again, you could even style this with a blazer and then the knit over your shoulders, but I really love this as like an everyday look. Again, full neutrals, allowing the beige to kind of stand out against those more like creams and like taupe shades in the outfit. And that's one of the things I love about beige trench coats is that I feel like because they're that beige color, they go with so many different like ranges of outfits in my wardrobe, whether it's colored outfits or going for more of the neutral tone outfits or even going with more black accessories and pieces as well. I just find it really a core, easy piece to style around. Whereas like going for the cream one, which you'll see in the next few outfits, I always find can be a little bit more tricky unless you kind of have more of those like down-toned colors or you're gonna go really bright, which I'll explain <laughs> when I get to those outfits. But I just, I honestly, the beige just goes with everything. When someone's like, how do I style it? I'm like, let me give you 11 different ways, <laughs> um, which I will actually try and leave lots of different ways on the screen here of other ways that I style the trench moving into like spring and summer, more summer because I've got sandals on in a lot of them, but I'll leave it on the screen there just in case um, that I styled last year because I literally wore it on repeat last year, like with midi dresses, it just yeah just does go with everything but then I've also just put the knit on here so you can just see how it is with the knit on just having that extra layer adding a bit more of like something something to the look by having a striped or like an abstract print knit I find it's a really nice way to kind of break up a more neutral beige outfit to again just add like a little bit more something something to the look moving into spring and summer and the last one with the beige trench is this really beautiful floral top and pink jean combo that I've actually styled here for more of a dressy spring summer outfit because because like I was saying about it going with everything, I do tend to wear it actually a lot when I'm going for like little brunches out where I've dressed up a little bit and then like goes into the evening with cocktails with my mum and things like that. There'll always be that occasion where I just need that little added layer that's really easy to then carry around. So I potentially, if it was a little bit colder, which I mean, we're having hit and miss days at the moment, I'd probably add a cream blazer with this as well for that extra kind of layer up just in case I need it. But I just, again, really do think it goes with everything and then it's one of those pieces that's really easy to kind of like fold down and put in a tote bag if you're walking around for every day or if you just are wearing an outfit like this and you're out for cocktails and you just want to like fold it up and put it to the side. I always just find it so so easy to do that with as well but moving on to the cream trench so this is a new purchase from H&M I really felt like I wanted to invest in a cream one this year because I've had the beige for so long I just feel like all my outfits and my wardrobes have got a lot of bold bright colors but also lots of pastels and I love styling pastels in spring and I feel like this just went so nicely with more like pastels and toned down pieces in my wardrobe. So for look number one, I'm styling this really gorgeous floral corset top and my collision jeans. I will mention about the jeans. I've had these for a couple of years and I think the other day they sold out, which was so frustrating because they're such a beautiful fit, but I'm gonna link those down below. And then I found four different similars that I'll also link down below just in case you guys like this kind of stepped hem detailed jeans. They are by far my comfiest jeans and I fully <laughs> just live in them right now. Um, but styling with the floral top to kind of like go with the kind of blue tones to the look, make it very spring with the florals. And I love like little ditzy prints and things like that and just layered up with the trench and then kind of tying in the trench with the white chunky trainers and cream bag and just keeping it very kind of two color raw, got the blues and the creams and matching them together. Just for like a really easy everyday look, but then a look that could also be taken quite easily from like day to night if you switched out the trainers for like little wraparound heels or little point toe cream boots as well. I just realized I've completely missed one for the beige trench coat. 
<laughs> so typical me that I get carried away. I fully thought I'd done five and five, but I haven't. I think I've done seven and six outfits. So just quickly, jumping back into the beige <laughs> trench coat, styling as a layered look for more of a chic feel of an outfit with this shirt dress, which I love, is perfect for laying with little knits over, or even styling with like little corset tops as well, done up over it, like the blue one I just shared. It looks really lovely with that just tied up round as well. But just start like that with heeled boots for more of like a chic dressed up way of layering with trench coats. And I love how it looks with the beige. Like if I was to style this with more of the cream white one from H&M, I feel like it just doesn't work. It needs that added layer of adding like another tonal piece to the outfit. So I've been loving styling it like this. So <laughs> sorry to just chuck that one in there, but I just remembered that I did film that outfit that I really wanted to add in as more of like a chic dressed up way of layering trench coats as well. But Moving back into the cream, styling with colour and again pastel colours but keeping it quite bright and fun and if you guys know I love styling colour which I've said so many times in past videos but I love pink tones and greens and things like that and these trousers I just fell in love with. I literally have been living in them with like white tees and chunky trainers and trench coats as like an everyday comfy look but to add a bit more like fun and a spring feel to an outfit. This vest is sadly really 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 old from Zara but I will try again to find similar down below but I just want to kind of show how I style those like light bright colours and then just keep it dressed down a little bit more with the creams and the white chunky trainers for an everyday feel to a look and it's just one of my favourite ways to start outfits at the moment just having main piece of the outfit to just stand out and just to make a spring feel to a look. It's probably why spring is my favourite time of year because I love that more of the colours come out of my wardrobe as we move into summer as well. And then another way I love styling my trench coats is with athleisure for like just chilling out running errands, Sunday fit, like this is just my go-to right now for just being comfortable, finding like my core favourite leggings no matter what the colour and like a little top whether it's a white tee or a vest top and then comfy trainers and just layering up with a trench and a colourful knit or just a neutral knit, this can be styled with any kind of comfy outfit that you've got even if it's a tracksuit, chuck on your favourite trainers and your trench and you're ready to go and it's just like the perfect Sunday or running errands outfit that I pretty much live in at the moment as well with my trench coats because I'm constantly wanting to wear comfy clothes. <laughs> so this is like one of my go-to like everyday, very chilled outfits that I feel like can be put together really nicely with different kind of pastel tones with the cream, but also just a trench kind of brings the outfit together and gives it that spring feel instantly as well. Again, going very bold and bright and doing the two color rule again with these pops of green. I just fell in love with this like jean and top combo. I, like I said, love green and love pink. And I just thought these jeans were so fun. I've actually been wearing them a lot with just like white tees just to kind of keep it more of an everyday kind of outfit. But I loved the style of this top from Zara. It comes in a pink and a white, I think. And it's got this really nice little tie side detail to it that I just felt gave the outfit a little bit more something something and just started with my New Balance 530s which are so so comfortable like I can't recommend them enough as a trainer. I've had my pink pair for nearly seven years and they're just <laughs> like the comfiest thing, it's like walking on sponge. So really recommend investing if you're looking for a trainer for spring and summer. But very very bright, very colourful and just kind of showing the two colour rule again with your favourite colours in your wardrobe and then styling with a tonal trench to kind of keep it looking more everyday and dressing down the look a little bit to allow those colours to stand out. For the next look, a very like tonal outfit with lots of creams and neutrals and I've just added a very subtle little bit of yellow with the yellow blazer layered up there. Like I said earlier, just having that extra layer and then layering with the trench is a perfect way of layering as you're moving into spring and summer and we've still got those like chilly days. And then I've just added a pop of colour trainer which isn't necessarily like needed but I just love adding as much pop of colour wherever I can in my wardrobe but I love wearing a satin skirt at the moment and I've just kind of tied a lot of those neutral pieces around this outfit as more of like an everyday but also chic way of styling the look and then obviously I've dressed it down a little bit with the trainers which you could easily swap out for a little pair of boots to kind of dress it up a little bit more if you were going somewhere a little bit more fancy or you're going out of family and loved ones and that kind of thing. And then for the last look, probably one of my favourite looks that I'm loving at the moment. I'm loving a striped shirt. I feel like this just screams spring and is like a massive capsule wardrobe piece for me when I get to this time of year. So it started with the blue jeans again, my new balance, and then... <laughs> 
pop of colour bag because it's me <laughs> and I'm gonna style it with something that adds a bit of colour but just showing how you really can just get those everyday pieces that you love whether it is just like a black tee, blue jeans, your favourite trainers, just chuck on the trench, see how it looks in your wardrobe and I promise you won't regret it, it just makes an outfit for spring and I just love how it really kind of pulls outfits together especially if you've got lots of different tones and you want to add a bit more colour or you don't it just works really well with like neutrals and bright colours too but yeah this is just like an everyday way that I love styling it at the moment just for like running errands again and going for meetings with friends or little walks and things like that and it's just super comfortable so really recommend getting a striped shirt in your wardrobe moving into spring but yeah they are all the outfits I wanted to share with you guys in today's video. I am going to try and start getting through my little list that you guys want to see. I've got black blazers on the way, white trainers, white tee. I'm kind of focusing on those more like transitional pieces again, which I have got in previous videos, but I feel like I want to do a refresh for it all because a lot of my outfits have definitely become a little bit more colourful and yeah, more fun. I feel like moving into spring and summer. I used to only wear black, which is fine because <laughs> I feel like it's still really nice to do that every now and then but there is something about dressing in colour that does make me feel so much better <laughs> so if you don't like that kind of thing then probably my videos aren't a few but if they are then thanks for watching and if there's anything you want me to add to my list of things to film and ways to style stuff and things like that then please please please, please let me know I will add it to my list and get to it as soon as I can too but I'm just wishing you guys a lovely end to your marches and starts to your is it May? It's April. I always like skip April. It's April next, but I hope you have a lovely start to your Aprils as well. And you're enjoying the sunshine and the little heat wave that we've been having. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Lots of love. Mwah. Bye.